In this episode of a mobile home makeover, we go green by reusing the kitchen sink. And when I say green, I mean avocado green. Also, we learn what a hootie ring is. Well, this is a new warning. Service brake system. I'm getting a lot of different warnings. I'm not sure whether they're real or whether they're just phantom electronic bugs. Man, it's not easy to admit, admit defeat, especially when rolling through a bunch of smoke, but I'm about to go and fix, take that sink and fix it up as best I can and put it back in because we haven't been able to find a suitable replacement. Sweet little 32 Ford. On the plus side, these hinges are looking pretty good. Might need a... And I should be thankful that I don't think I damaged this too much getting it out. So there's a chance I might be able to get it back in in somewhat okay shape. This is kind of messed up right here. I think I basically need to make sure this ring around here is solid again. And I find here in the garage a collar, a cat collar, which makes me wonder if somebody else is uh, trying to lay, may lay claim to Bill. He was able to get his collar off. Or did one of his paramours come around and he got the collar off for her? <laughs> Thinking about this hinge replacement thing, and uh, I'm realizing. I got all the hinges white, but I'm going to be screwing them in with these brass screws. That's going to look a little messed up, so I think it's time to go over to the hardware store and uh, seek out some parts for the sink, which is uh, just going to be a faucet replacement now, and uh, seek out some uh, new uh, new screws. Yeah, you want to come up there? Mm, this is going to be a regular thing, huh, Bill? Alright, 40 bucks later and I got all the parts I need for now. Silicon caulk, some screws, two adapters, and some white tape. I guess since this is going to be the sink, I've now learned that this piece is called, oh, now I've already forgotten what it's called, a droopy, a truppy, a ruppy, something like that. Anyway, better start cleaning it up. I gotta start by removing the faucet, which I have to do because I was a genius who cut the supply lines to it. And these pieces are looking very easy to come off, but this piece, it's a whole other monster. There are potentially two courses of action I see. This, here, seems to be a nut or a screw, depending on which part you look at. And also this piece down here could possibly be a clip that slides off that way. So I'm just going to go through here and clean up what I can. I'm going to probably re-caulk these joints back here before uh, putting this in place. It seems like I'm going to be pulling this rim off entirely. And I'm going to need some Gorilla Glue to put it back on since it's going to hold the weight of the sink, basically. Kind of messed up um but uh that gave me thought briefly that i could reuse this ring to mount another sink but i looked online and it needs to be flat right here and the sinks that are selling are not flat they're angled down because got this away yeah i'm gonna need some hair glue so i have to be pretty careful with this piece because um well, our whole kitchen depends on it, and it's uh, semi-flimsy. 
steel wool just to clean this up a little bit. It's quite hot and smoky out, so I decided to move inside and set up this tarp to catch my mess in this kind of messy job. Here's a little bit of progress. At the beginning of this project, my mother-in-law, who's potentially moving in here in a couple months, asked if we were going to be using green construction. Well, the answer is we are reusing this, and it's green. More progress. Okay, I'm going to say that's done for now, and I'm going to move on to doing the ring, which is going to be the more difficult part. Although this looks disgusting, and we will clean that up, the real challenge here is getting off this 45-year-old adhesive that we're going to have to replace with new adhesive. There's the cleaned up ring. Managed to get most of the glue off the inside. That's good. So now I'm off to the hardware store to buy more glue so I can stick these two back together. Who's a good boy? So with this ring all cleaned up and the sink a little bit cleaned up, we come to the most important project of the day, gluing them back together. Okay, I got my tools together, now I'm ready to do this. Okay, I've got a bead going the whole way around. Now I gotta flip it into place.
black surface to do that. So I'm going to take the floor. I'm using weights and I'm doing it over here. I'm praying I don't have any glue messed up. Well, there it is, weighted down to the best of my ability. Got a couple of five gallons of paint, toolbox, and a couple of sledgehammers. And I'm going to let that cure. Oh, cure 24 hours. Yep, he's pretty much just hanging around now. Might have to get you some treats. <laughs> That's right, that little thing around the sink is called a hoodie ring. H U D E E. How it got that name? Oh, from the original manufacturer, the Hoodie Corporation, which used to make 1,200 of them. Apparently, there are only about 18 available online now. Certainly not one that's going to fit our uh, desired sink size, which was 33 by 19. So we reused. Um, thanks for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe. Yeah.